SNIT, we deliver on our promise. Hello, welcome to SNIT Virtual Info Zone, Episode 7. My name is Jamila. Our topic for today is how you can become a SNIT voluntary contributor. But before we go into our discussions for today, let's do a quick recap of our presentation for last week on preparing for pension. We wish to remind you that you should ensure to have gone through the SNIT biometric registration and have only one social security number. Also ensure to update your bio data, and that is your full name, residential address, telephone number, email address, and GPS address if you have it. Check your financial data to ensure that all your contributions over the years you have worked reflect on your statement of account. Update your list of nominees at least once every five years. Today, our presentation is going to be on voluntary contributions. And the topic once again is how you can become a SNET voluntary contributor. But let's define social security together. Social security is a social insurance scheme where members contribute during their working life and receive benefits when their key sources of income are terminated. We need to emphasize here that social security is a human rights issue. Everybody deserves a decent living. Broadly, social security takes care of the following contingencies. Old age or retirement, death, sickness, unemployment, invalidity, and child support. So we may ask, why the need for social security? The family system of support for the aged, sick, orphans no longer exists. Additionally, every worker after years of productive service will retire after a certain age. We will also know that at certain stages in our life, people become incapable of engaging in any income generating enterprise due to old age or invalidity. Please remember that youthfulness is not permanent. Continuous stay of people in employment beyond a certain stage deprives younger people or persons from getting employed, gaining experience, and being promoted. And so in Ghana, the compulsory retirement age for now is 60 years. Social security in Ghana has gone through several phases. From a provident fund to pensions, and now we have the three-tier pension scheme, which is governed by the National Pensions Law Act 766. The three pension scheme are first tier, which is also mandatory and managed by SNIT. Second tier is also mandatory, but managed by fund managers. And the third tier is a voluntary scheme. Why you must join the SNIT scheme? With the SNIT scheme, there is an assurance of income replacement that provides peace of mind for the pensioner. There is a guaranteed minimum pension that we pay to all pensioners. The SNIT scheme is also backed by the state. Under the SNIT scheme, there's a guaranteed annual increment in pension, which is also known as indexation. The benefits under the SNIT scheme are predetermined by law. In calculating your pension, three factors are considered. Your contributions based on the income that was declared to SNIT, your age at the point of retirement and the number of months of contribution will determine how much pensions you receive. Free health care under the National Health Insurance is also a good thing that all contributors and pensioners benefit from. There's no risk associated at all with the payment of benefits. And so with all the seven factors, 
we are assured of reduced old age poverty, hence less dependence on our family during old age. Who can join the SNIT scheme? We have members in the formal sector where clear employer-employee relationship with standard structures existing. We have the semi-formal sector where individuals, small-scale units, some of which also employ family labor and or few hired workers producing, distributing, providing, or selling goods and services. The third group of persons is our area of interest today. And these are the self-employed or what we will categorize in SNIT as voluntary contributors. These are persons who work for themselves. Example, the orange seller. Taxi, boat, Uber drivers are also in this category. Dressmakers, fashion designers, online businesses, mechanics, sportsmen and women, persons in the creative industry can all be classified as self-employed who can join the scheme as voluntary contributors. At what age can you join the SNET scheme? There is a minimum requirement of 15 years and a maximum of 45 years. 45 years because you are required to do at least 180 months to qualify you for a pension. And so if you join the social security scheme after 45 years, you are not likely to be able to contribute for 180 months at the point of retirement, and that is 60 years. So we know the category of workers who are classified as self-employed or voluntary contributors. So becoming a voluntary contributor. To become a voluntary contributor, first register at SNIT, at any SNIT office by providing the following. Your correct name, evidence of date of birth, contact details, parental details, nature of business, any other relevant information that you may be required to give to the SNIT official. Remember that the social security number that will be given to you is not transferable and must be used by the contributor throughout their entire working life. After you have successfully registered for a social security number, you will be required to declare your yearly income. Remittances. How do I contribute to SNET after I have been registered as a voluntary contributor? You can pay your contributions monthly, quarterly, biannually, or annually at the nearest SNET office. Payment under voluntary contributions is quite flexible for the voluntary contributor. We want to assure you that even when you make late payments within the year, you are not charged any penalties. What you should know as a voluntary contributor. A. Contribution is done throughout one's working life up to 60 years. You can, however, opt to go on reduced pension at 55 years or more. Contributions must be paid using the same SNIT number even after a long break in the event that you start your own business. Contribute 13.5% of your declared income. A minimum contribution will guarantee you a minimum pension. All things being equal, the longer you contribute, the higher the percentage of your benefits. We also want to emphasize here that the higher the monthly contributions, the higher the benefits paid. Your contributions are saved with SNIT. No one can access your benefits under the SNIT scheme. You will never lose your contributions even if you don't remember your social security number. What are the core benefits for a SNIT contributor? One, old age pension. When you attain the age of 60 years, you are qualified to take a pension if you have done 
at least 180 months of contribution. Invalidity pension. Invalidity pension is paid to members who are permanently incapacitated and cannot have any gainful employment. Old age lump sum is also a one-time benefit that is paid to members who upon retirement have not been able to do 180 months of contribution. Survivor's lump sum payment is a benefit that is paid to nominated beneficiaries of contributors or pensioners. And last but not least, all workers in Ghana are expected to contribute into the SNIT scheme. And so if you are a foreigner and have ample evidence of relocating to your country of origin, and there is ample evidence that you, you are living permanently, then we pay you immigration lump sum. What happens if I'm unable to contribute for 180 months? The total yearly contributions plus interest are summed up and paid to the member as a lump sum. Can I access my money if I'm unable to work again due to permanent disability? Yes. You must have made at least 12 months contributions in aggregate within the last 36 months before the occurrence of the invalidity. Remember that there is no age limit at all. A medical board, however, with a SNIT representative must certify that the member is incapable of normal gainful employment because of the physical or mental disability. Where the medical board certifies that the member has fully recovered and the person has not attained the compulsory retirement age, that person may rejoin the SNIT scheme. Who will the benefits be paid to if a contributor or pensioner dies? This benefit, also known as survivor's benefit, is paid to nominated dependents of members under the following conditions. One, when a member dies before retirement, his benefits are paid to his, his or her nominated beneficiaries. And also, when a pensioner dies before attaining the age of 75, his unexpired pension is paid to his nominated dependents. Takeaways. We have learned who qualifies to be a voluntary contributor. We have also learned how we can pay our contributions to have a beautiful pension upon retirement. What are some of the salient points that we should take away? Register to become a SNIT voluntary contributor today to enjoy a pension in future. Pay your monthly contributions regularly on a good income. Check your statements periodically. Enjoy regular pensions during retirement. With SNIT, your pension is guaranteed. We will now pause for questions. And I would encourage you to bring your questions, to allow your questions to flow. Do you wanna enjoy a good life?